It is time for another round two quick knockout. No brewing in these round twos. So we already have our matcha in front of us coming fresh off of their victories in round one. Who is going to make it into round three? Is it going to be the Uji Matcha Manten from Ocha? Or the Hyper Premium Organic from Breakaway Matcha? I've topped them up with just a little bit more warm water to kind of get them more on an even playing field for temperature. And now let's give them a quick smell and taste. Mm, yeah, that's such a fine, delicate matcha. Very sweet, very umami, very green. Everything I look for in a matcha. Premium organic from Breakaway Matcha. Also fine. It's a certainly a hyper premium as advertised. But for this round two knockout, it's a, a clear winner again for the Uji Matcha Manten from Ocha. With the Heber Premium Organic getting knocked out, our bracket now looks like this. And here is a little bit more information about the Heber Premium Organic. And this is from Breakaway Matcha. And for your 30 gram container, that's going to be coming in at $59 or $1.97 per gram. Now, this is the exact same price point as their Blend 95. So that's interesting because it's the only two offerings from Breakaway Matcha that come in at the same price point. So you could get either the Blend 95 or this Hyper Premium for the exact same price. Beyond price though, we don't really know much about the underlying matcha itself. Season, cultivar, or origin, all unknown. The description coming from Breakaway Matcha's website, we've finally found it. For four years, we hunted all over Japan to find an organic matcha that merits inclusion into our hyper-premium lineup, and here it is, at long last. A blend of organic matcha that hits all the right notes. Big umami, electric color, rich creamy sweetness with only faint traces of bitterness, and a huge finish that lingers on the tongue long after it's swallowed. Comparison taste and refinement with our Blend 94, from a Nishio co-op that has finally figured out how to make a delicious organic matcha. There you go. I suppose origin we do know then that it comes from a Nishio. Unfortunately I don't know my Japanese geography well enough to know where exactly that is. Well that's going to do it for this quick round two knockout. We'll see you tomorrow for our last round two knockout and then we'll be moving into the exciting third round. Moving right along in our matcha madness. See you then.